Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we will learn how we can use the sensor block which we have created in the previous session. If you want to see the previous training session, the video link is in the description box. Before starting today's session, I would request you guys to please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. First of all, let's see the setup for the today's tutorial. We have a water tank with two level props. The low level prop is connected at I0.0 .0 input of the PLC and the high level prop is connected at I0.1 input of the PLC. Water inlet valve is connected at Q0.0 output of the PLC. As you can see that as the water inlet valve opens and as the water touches with the low level probe, it moves up and down few times before actually stabilizing at the up position. Same way as the water touches with the high level probe, it moves up and down few times before actually stabilizing at the up position. These up and down movements of the probe sends many pulse signals at the PLC input. Now to filter the signal and get the stable input signal from the probe, we have to use the timer after the sensor signal in such a way that if the water probe signal is continuously on for 500 milliseconds, only after the 500 milliseconds when the probe signal is stable, we will consider this stable signal as true probe signal. We have already made this logic in the sensor block in the last video tutorial. Now let's open the TIA portal software and see how we can use this sensor block. First of all, we will open the project which we have created in the last video session. We will create a new function and name it as our control sensor. In the network number one, we will use the sensor block for the low level sensor. We will drag and drop the sensor block on the ladder. This will create an instance for this function block. We can name this instance as db low level. And next, we will insert a normal open contact at the sensor input of this block and assign this contact I0.0 .0 input of the PLC. As we have connected low level sensor at I0.0 .0 input of the PLC. Next, we will set the on delay and off delay time as 500 milliseconds. Next, in the network number two, we will create an instance of the sensor block for the high level sensor. As we have done earlier, we will assign the I0.1 input of the PLC at the sensor input of the block. I0.0 input is the high level input of the PLC. Next, we will set the on delay and off delay time as 500 milliseconds for this block. One thing to note here is that we have done all this in the function fc1. Now we have to call this function fc1 in the ob1 so that this function gets executed. We will open the main ob1 block in the network number one. We will call the fc1 function. We will drag and drop the control sensor function fc1 on the ladder logic. This way control sensor function fc1 will be executed when the PLC goes into the run mode. Next in the network number 2 we will insert the normal close contact of the low level delayed output. Next we will insert output coil and assign it the q0.0 output inlet water valve. Next we will make the hold on logic for this output q0.0 by inserting normal open contact of the q0.0 in parallel so that when the water level goes below the low level sensor the output q0.0 gets latched on next we will insert the normal close contact and assign it high level delayed output tag so that when the water level reaches the high level sensor this contact opens and turn off the q0.0 output Next, we will insert the normal open contact M20.0. This is stop filling bit. This bit will stop the filling at any moment. Now our programming is completed. We will download this logic into the PLC and get online with the PLC and see how does it works. As you can see that if we turn on the stop filling button, the water inlet valve turns on and water starts to fill the tank. As the water touches the low level prop I0.0, .0, the delayed output normal close contact opens after the delayed set point. Same way as the water touches the high level prop I0.1, the delayed output normal close contact 
opens after the delayed set point and it turns off the water valve Q0.0. So this is how we can create and use the function blocks in the TIA portal. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.